guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're gonna make a DIY chalkboard. Don't worry about that mount, I'll put that right back up. I just gotta move it out of the way for a minute. So to start, um, we got a piece of Luon. 4x8 I believe it was. Joe cut that to the right size that we need. And now we're gonna hang it. Just gonna put some screws around the border. To prevent it from bubbling in the middle, he's just uh putting some finished nails through the middle of it and then I'm gonna fill all those nail holes with this uh, wood filler And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm putting my painter's tape all around the edges. Now that the wood filler is dry, I'm going to go ahead with the finer side of that sand in sponge and I'm just going to sand it smooth. We get a nice flat surface to work on. Then I'm just going over it with a damp cloth to get all that dust off. Then after that dries, I can paint it. Like my stirring stick. Forgot to pick one up. Oh well, clean stick from the yard works just as good. I'm just gonna go around. Um, all the edges um, with just one layer with this paintbrush just to get in real close where that roller probably won't get right up against it you know and I just got the flat smooth foam rollers not the fluffy ones yeah don't forget a paint tray I forgot a paint tray, and then I, all I had was this, um, these uncoated paper plates, so I got about four of them all stacked up, but it worked, so. You might want to make sure you get your paint tray. So I'm just going to put on a coat of this, and uh, let the kids help. Slowly, slowly, got it. It actually looks good. Slowly. Good job. Yep. Get back on the wall. Nice and easy. Get this spot over here. There you go. What? There you go. With that. It's okay to push a little bit hard just so it can get into all the cracks. A couple hours later after that dries, I'm just going over it with the fine uh, side of that sand and sponge again, just lightly. And wiping it down with a damp cloth, get rid of the dust again. And throwing on another coat. I'm 
just put everything in a bag when I was done because I didn't want to have to wash everything multiple times. So I ended up putting four coats on, sanding in between each coat. Turned out pretty good, I think. Now that the chalkboard is all done and I took the painter's tape off, what I'm going to do now is take a piece of um, chalk and rub it all over this uh, board to prevent ghosting, which is what happens when, like if I don't rub chalk over this first and I draw something on here and then I go to wipe it off, you're always going to be able to see a little outline of whatever it was that I just drew on there. So if you rub chalk on it first, it's called seasoning your chalkboard, then that'll um, either completely prevent it or at least lessen it quite a bit. So that's what we're going to do next. So now that we've got the chalk on there, um, got it all rubbed in, I'm going to go over it with this damp cloth and just kind of wipe most of it off. It's not going to all come off completely and that's okay because um, that's what prevents the ghosting. So, Alright, let's get this cleaned up. Thank you guys for watching this uh, video. I know it's a little different than the normal video, but I wanted another uh, chalkboard for our homeschool. And uh, they can be pretty expensive, those real slate ones. So we decided to make our own, cost less than $50. And I uh, thought it'd be a fun DIY project to do and uh, film for you guys. Um, being homeschoolers allows us to have a more flexible schedule and um, do some more outdoor activities and stuff with the kids that we normally wouldn't be able to do if we were tied down to a public school uh, schedule so that's why I share some of this stuff on here because it kind of goes I mean it is part of our lifestyle so it goes right hand in hand with uh, taking them outside so alright well that's a wrap thank you fellas and uh, we'll catch you on the next one